In this tutorial, we're going to relook at object removal using Cyberlink's photo director. Let's have a look. About a year ago, I did a basic tutorial on object removal using Cyberlink's photo director. I'm Harvey Roberts, this is Permanent Tourist in Helsinki. I would like to redo that and show you a better way of object removal especially if they're a little bit difficult. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to use the same photograph that I used a year ago and, um, and show you some tips and tricks and hopefully it will help you along. Let's have a look. So we've got PhotoDirect open. Let's import our photograph, the one that I used a year ago. So this is the picture, as you can see, it's got a lot of colour. The lady stood in a horrible position and there's a, a road or a little bike path that goes through there that we need to take into account. And also this tree, let me zoom in on this for a moment. This tree's got something stamped to it, which is going to cause a few problems. So analyse your photograph before you actually do any editing. So let's go edit. This is the edit area and here you can have add a new layer, express templates, an adjustment layer, add a mask and this is available options. Now if you're coming from Photoshop you can't basically drag and drop the background onto a new layer it won't do it so what you have to do is either right click and duplicate or you can use this layer options this gives you the same thing so let's click that duplicate and now we've got our copy so I'm gonna just make it unavailable the background click on the eye so it's not not visible and then make sure that the background copy layer is selected we're going to go all the way over to the right hand side to this little harry potter wand here that says guided tools click that open and we need to go to improve remove open it up and select smart patch So now we're in the Smart Patch Editor. The only option and the only tool that you have is the brush for adding and deselecting areas of your selection using this and the brush size, of course, which is, so if I selected this bench here and then select the negative part, we can remove parts of it that we so wish. And this is all you have. There's nothing else here that you can do Now take into account that there is no back button. So once you start editing your photograph, do not hit reset. This is a definite no-no. This will absolutely delete everything that you've done and reset the picture back to the, to the beginning. If you need to do any kind of go back, you need to press Ctrl Z on your keyboard and that will take it one step back. I will show you, I will just connect this and I'm going to click next so I can have it and then I'm going to just move it across and just get rid of it and, and then I'm going to click apply. So now you've done that, there's no way to get that back unless of course you press Ctrl Z on your keyboard and then what, every time you click it, it will go back one shot like so. If you click reset, it will just go back to the beginning. You'll lose everything. So just be aware of this. This is a terrible, terrible button. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this lady and the shadow. And I'm, I'm not going to do all of it because it is very time consuming, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. 
So I'm going to leave the brush at 20 and I'm just going to remove some of the shadow first and then I'll remove some of the lady here just to show you how, how I'm doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in, you click on the magnifying glass two, maybe three times. I think two is better for me. Now you need to click the magnifying glass again to deselect it because if you're selecting these it makes no difference. You need to click this magnifying glass to deselect so you get the brush back again. So what we're going to do is we're going to select, try to select an area without actually selecting like these leaves or green. You, you need to just kind of select parts of the area that you want to swap out. And I'm going to do just this area. Try not to choose too much because you'll have a lot more problems. I would like to say that that is perhaps a little bit more than I, I, I wanted. I, I'm just going to just delete this because I don't want to do too much. I think that's fine. So what you do is then once you've got your selection, you click on next and then you get this blue line around it. Now you can move this around now. Now what you want to do is you want to move it around to an area that looks pretty much the same as what you've got. It, it wouldn't make any point to drag it over here because it, it, it's so different. But here you can see we've got a nice, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep moving it and moving it until it fits, until you see it and you get what you want, a nice, That's pretty good. I'm going to go a little bit more. Sometimes you can see the light juddering on on the on the on the leaves which is not a good thing. I'm going to go a little bit higher. Let's see what happens. That's taking it way too much. I'm going to come back down. I don't like that. I'm pretty good around here. I like this is a better area for me. I'm going to stick it just a touch more. Let's see if we can get that blue haze out of it. That looks pretty good. What you need to do is you're going to have to do this several times. So I'm going to click apply. Now I'm going to remove this bit. So let's select this area. I'm going to select that leaf as well. Click next. Then we're going to move this around. Now, if you, if you find that you, you, you see that wouldn't work because you can see it's obvious that there's two of the same. So let's pull this in a little bit more. That was a nice area that just back there. That's pretty good. I'm going to click apply. We're going to choose this area next. Click next. Let's take it up and see what we can come up with. Now I don't understand why it keeps doing that color change. Let's find another area. Just keep moving your just keep moving your selection around until you find an area that, that just fits and looks good. I don't seem to be getting much luck today. This is not working. Let's try down here. That seems to be pretty much a good area. I'm going to click apply. Taking into account, we can always come back and redo this again. So let's do this bit because this is some kind of blue is flashing there. I don't know what that is. I'm going to choose this area, click next, let's move it around until we find a nice spot that we like. And all you have to do is just keep, just be patient and, and just keep moving it around until you find a, a good area.
that flash there then that's pretty sweet I'm gonna apply it there so now we've got part of this area done this uh, we want to remove this bit now so I'm gonna select and that leaf that area only click next and just gently move it up might be a bit because the leaves look a bit same but we'll we'll try it anyway so as you can see we're definitely getting rid of it piece by piece take this area next click next just move it up until you get it and click apply I'm going to take this area next, click next, just gently move it up. Until we can find a nice area, try not to get anything that looks same. I can live with that, I'm going to click apply. We can definitely come back and finish this off a little bit later. Like you can see there's a blue haze on these areas. So let's just select this little area here where this blue haze is. Click next. Click apply. And you can see there's a vast difference here. Now I'm going to do this one a little bit as well because this is a problem for me. Click next. Just move it up a little bit. Just enough to get rid of that blue haze click apply and as you can see little by little we are absolutely getting rid of the shadow let's take a slightly bigger area click next just going to pull it up Just enough to give it that I don't quite like that there's too many leaves in that one area same I'm gonna click apply and as you can see little by little we're now removing the shadow I'm gonna just zoom out just so you can have a look so you can definitely see there's still some artifacts there's still some problems here so what you're gonna have to do is still go back make sure you click this magnifying glass again otherwise you can't choose any of these choose an area now you've zoomed out click next maybe that's not the right place to be i'm gonna go somewhere that looks good i'm gonna click apply so as you can see you need to zoom in and zoom out just to give you the feel of how it's looking let's do this a little bit again this is not good click next just gently move it around just to get it out click apply now this is very time consuming as you can see it takes a lot of work and you need to keep moving it around now the, obviously because this photograph is very difficult because of the content I can't seem to find a good spot for this that might be good I think let's try that uh, because of the content of the photograph um, you can see that it's going to be very problematic so really take your time just do small small pieces at a time and just keep working your way in now like i said whatever you do do not click on reset it will undo everything that you've done here if you need to go back just one or two Control z i'm going to show you Control z on my keyboard this is the last one i used and you just keep going back 
So let's start on this bit area. Let's go to a head and, and I'll show you how that works as well. So let's zoom in to two is good. I'm not going to go anymore. Deselect it. We've got our brush size. Now I'm going to drop the brush size down to about 12, 13 because the problem is with this now is there's a lot of leaves and if you have a big brush and you try to use a big area then you'll have a lot of problems. So drop your brush size down and only take half of the area for this side and half of the area for this side because of the difference in colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose half of this here. I'm not going to go any more than that. I'm going to just choose that and then we're going to drag it across until we get an absolutely perfect shot. Try not to get it so it's too light. Uh, there's a bit that tree branch is it's causing me a bit of problems. Let's try and move it around. Let's go somewhere else. That's looking good. I kind of like that. I'm going to click apply. Let's go on the opposite side now. Obviously, because there's a branch at the top, and we've also got this tree here, so we need to be careful with that. So I'm going to just select this area here, and then we can come back and fix that next. Click next. And then you want to move this to the left hand side. Don't put it to the right because you'll have, of course, light problems. So let's just move it along and see if we can find a spot where it's, it's going to fit just nice. And of course, the, the further and higher you go and the difference in color, obviously, it's going to cause a lot more problems. So let's see if we can bring it down a little bit. That's looking pretty good. I kind of like that. I'm going to click apply. Like I said, we can keep coming back and doing this over again. Now for me to try to bring this tree back, this is going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to have to try and get this tree or something or maybe this tree here to do this. So let's let me show you how this works. I'm just going to go a little bit around and just a touch. I'm not going to do too much. Click next. And let's see if we can bring a tree in and see if we can match it. See, that's looking good. It's matching up. It's a pretty good size. And I'm going to click apply. So now you can see that we've actually brought the tree back into our photograph. Let's remove some more. Now, you need to take into account that this, this bicycle path here. So try to, I'm going to stay above the bicycle path on this half. Here, click next. Let's drag it along and let's see what we've got. Now try to keep it as close to the area that you had it before. Because you want to make it so that it it kind of just fits together. I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna apply that. I like that, that's fine. Now we do have a bit of light problem here, so you're gonna be have to redo this again. Once you've finished off what you're doing, you can always come back and carry on with this. Now, I'd like to get this bottom part of the tree in here. So I'm going to use perhaps this part. So let's select this area. I'm not going to go anymore. Click next and let's see what we can find that might bring this tree back into a, a nice, make it look like it's See, that kind of works for me. I kind of like that. The problem is the road's gone down. We want to try and bring the road back up. That's not going to be a good one. Let's try this area. There you go. That kind of works for me. I'm going to click apply. So we've kind of brought that tree back. Now we can, now we can actually select the tree, just the tree itself. Click next and let's see if we can find something that that is way too small. Let's try this one. It's 
this is not working, this is not going to go. So we can't fit this in. So I'm going to click Ctrl Z and Ctrl Z and Ctrl Z one more time. It gets rid of our selection so we can carry on and do some more. So this is how you do object removal. Small pieces at a time. Click next. Let's move this and see if we can get that road to come in. Now they can see there's a lot of color variation here, which is a bit of a problem. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm going to click OK. That kind of works for me. I'm going to come. We, I can come back and fix that later. Now I'm going to do this as well. Let's see if I can find a better area for this. Click next. That's looking good. That's looking good. I'm going to click apply. So little by little, you are literally taking away, deleting everything that you have on this and replacing it. Let's see if we can find another area for this. This is not working very well at all. That's better. See, that's got a nice look to it. I kind of like that. I like the way that that light actually comes through. I'm going to click apply. And that is what you do. And when you've got rid of all your thing, then you just click OK. So you can go back. And it's processing it. So it goes back here. Let's click on the eye icon. And this is what we've got. As you can see, little by little, we are definitely removing the background. Now this is, like I said, it, it's a lot of work because this is a very difficult object removal. But it's certainly the best way I've found to do this. So there you have it. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Have a great day, people. Stay safe.